and welcome back. Let's bring in our Friday Press Gallery for their take on the political plays and misplays of the week. Evan Solomon is the host of CTV's Question Period, and joining me from Toronto is correspondent Lloyd Robertson. Hello to both of you. Hello. Hi, Joyce. Happy Friday. Same to you. Uh, Lloyd, you have a misplay. Yes, it's a misplay in regard to the report on missing and murdered indigenous women that came out this week from the National Inquiry. And it has to do with the word they used, highly charged and inflammatory, genocide, in connection with Canada's attitude and approach to indigenous peoples through the years, and they contend it is still going on. Now, this has overshadowed many of the recommendations in those 1,200 pages, the more than 200 recommendations. And um, Romeo Dallaire, who certainly knows about genocide, uh, he said he's uncomfortable with that word because to him it means extermination. It means the wiping out of a whole race of people. Um, Irvin Kotler, the former Minister of Justice, who uh, was highly regarded when he was uh, with the Liberals in, in the Cabinet, he said, if you use genocide for everything, you, it means nothing. That's how it ends up. So I think what they've done here is overshadow the recommendations for that grim period in Canadian history that uh, we should be looking at right now. We should be discussing more. Uh, social media filled this week with discussions of the word genocide. It was a shameful period in our history. No question about that. But I think the commission kind of blew it by using that highly incendiary word. But what the commission was saying, Evan, is that it's not only part of our history, it's also part of our present. But do you agree with, with, with Lloyd that it has, you know, the whole conversation now is over the word genocide and not over the hundreds of pages of testimony and the solutions probably to bring to this problem? It, I, I think we all are struggling with the definition of genocide. That was why they used it. And when you read the report, they went to great lengths to say that it was not an emotional word that they decided to use. You know, since the word genocide developed after the Second World War by Raphael Lemkin, a Polish Jewish lawyer, the word has developed. They don't, all genocides don't look like the Holocaust or the Holdemore or the Rwandan genocide. And they have a series of four or five criteria. And if you hit any of them, it does legally now cross the threshold of being a genocide. I got to say, when I started reading, I thought, oh, oh, I don't think this is, you know, I yeah. don't, is Canada like a, a genocidal nation? But when you read the report and you read the definition of what happened to the children, the residential schools, the fact that what led up to that, I actually think it does hit that threshold. And now the debate, which is a furious and controversial debate, I understand, but we have to examine now what to do. Number one, solving the cold cases. This is also a crime story. We need justice for these families and for the women who are got lost. Two, we need data and prevention. And they, should have, they could have focused on that as well. But I think the use of that term, I know it's a terribly difficult term, has forced a genuine re-examination. And the big question, Joyce, is does it become an election issue or does it get dusted right. off to the side? But, I mean, it's yeah. harder to dust it off because of the word. Yeah. Um, uh, Lloyd, it, it, it's that. It's the word. If, if it wasn't for that word, would we still be talking about it next week? You well, see, that's the problem. <laughs> We've had other commissions. That's right. I mean, I don't think as many people are as well-read or as up-to-date on this subject as Evan. Uh, because he's got it down pat about how the word developed and so on. What about all those countries out there uh, who don't like the Western world? This is a political plum for them uh, because they can embarrass us with that. When we stand up in the United Nations and start talking about the human rights, they can say, oh, oh, no way, Canada. Look at your record on indigenous peoples. That's really the concern here, I think. It's not the subtleties and the untested word it's the fact that other countries may look at us in a different way as a result of this yeah words uh, mean word, something okay can i just say one thing uh, you're 100 percent right and lloyd's right and canada is a signatory uh, to conventions on genocide that we ratified that actually will force now that the prime minister has admitted it to go find and try the perpetrators. So we could be in a real legal mess, but I just would say to Lloyd's point, the truth has only one ally itself, not, it doesn't filter through foreign policy. And I think in this case, that's the way it has been seen. 